Platformism is a tendency or organized school of thought within the anarchist movement. It stresses the need for tightly organized anarchist organizations that are able to influence working class and peasant movements. Platformist groups reject the model of Leninist vanguardism. They instead aim to make anarchist ideas the leading ideas within the class struggle. According to platformists, the four main principles by which an anarchist organization should operate, are ideological unity, tactical unity, collective responsibility and federalism. Overview In general, platformist groups aim to win the widest possible influence for anarchist ideas and methods in the working class and peasantry. Like Especifismo groups, platformists orient towards the working class, rather than to the far left. This usually entails a willingness to work in single-issue campaigns, trade unionism and community groups, and to fight for immediate reforms while linking this to a project of building popular consciousness and organization. They therefore reject approaches that they believe will prevent this, such as insurrectionary anarchism, as well as, "...views that dismiss activity in the unions." or that dismiss anti-imperialist movements, the name, "...platformist", derives from the 1926 Organizational Platform of the General Union of Anarchists draft. This was published by the group of Russian anarchists abroad, in their journal Dielo Truda Workers Cause", in Russian. The group, which consisted of exiled Russian anarchist veterans of the 1917 October Revolution notably Nestor Makhno who played a leading role in the anarchist revolution in Ukraine of 1918–1921, based the platform on their experiences of the revolution and the eventual victory of the Bolsheviks over the anarchists and other groups. The platform attempted to address and explain the anarchist movement's failures during the Russian Revolution outside Ukraine. The document drew praise and criticism from anarchists worldwide and sparked a major debate within the anarchist movement. Today, platformism is an important current in international anarchism. Around 30 platformist and especifista organizations are linked together in the Anarchismo.net project, including groups from Africa, Latin America, North America, and Europe. At least in terms of the number of affiliated organizations if not in actual membership in some countries, the Anarchismo network is larger than other anarchist international bodies, like the Synthesist International of Anarchist Federations and the Anarcho-Syndicalist International Workers Association. However, it is not a formal, international, and has no intention of competing with these other formations. <laughs> organizational ideas. The platform describes four key organizational features which distinguish platformism Tactical unity. A common tactical line in the movement is of decisive importance for the existence of the organization and the whole movement, it avoids the disastrous effect of several tactics opposing each other, it concentrates the forces of the movement, and gives them a common direction leading to a fixed objective. Theoretical unity. Theory represents the force which directs the activity of persons and organizations along a defined path towards a determined goal. Naturally it should be common to all the persons and organizations adhering to the general union. All activity by the general union, both overall and in its details, should be in perfect concord with the theoretical principles professed by the union." Collective responsibility the practice of acting on one's personal responsibility should be decisively condemned and rejected in the ranks of the anarchist movement. The areas of revolutionary life, social and political, are above all profoundly collective by nature. Social revolutionary activity in these areas cannot be based on the personal responsibility of individual militants. Federalism Against centralism, anarchism has always professed and defended the principle of federalism, which reconciles the independence and initiative of individuals and the organization with service to the common cause." The platform argues that we have vital need of an organization which, having attracted most of the participants in the anarchist movement, would establish a common tactical and political line for anarchism and thereby serve as a guide for the whole movement. In short, unity meant unity of ideas and actions as opposed to unity on the basis of the anarchist label. <inaudible> Publication history 
The organizational platform of the General Union of Anarchists draft was written in 1926 by the Group of Russian Anarchists Abroad, a group of exiled Russian and Ukrainian anarchists in France who published the Dielo Truda Journal. The pamphlet is an analysis of basic anarchist beliefs, a vision of an anarchist society and recommendations as to how an anarchist organization should be structured. <laughs> Antecedents of the platform The authors of the platform insisted that its basic ideas were not new, but had a long anarchist pedigree. Platformism is not therefore a revision away from classical anarchism, or a new approach, but a «restatement» of existing positions. They cited Peter Kropotkin arguing that the formation of an anarchist organization in Russia, far from being prejudicial to the common revolutionary task, on the contrary it is desirable and useful to the very greatest degree." and argued that Mikhail Bakunin's "...aspirations concerning organizations, as well as his activity," in the First International, "...give us every right to view him as an active partisan of just such an organization." Indeed, "...practically all active anarchist militants fought against all dispersed activity, and desired an anarchist movement welded by unity of ends and means." Problems caused by poor translations The platform used to be known in English as the Organizational Platform of the Libertarian Communists, a result of its having been translated from the French edition popularized in the early 1970s. In his book Facing the Enemy, A History of Anarchist Organization from Proudhon to May 1968 p. 131, Alexander Skirta attributes much of the controversy about the platform to the original 1926 French translation made by its opponent Volin. Later translations to French have corrected some of the mistranslations and the latest English translation, made directly from the Russian original, reflects this. Other terms. Some platformist organizations today are unhappy with the designation, often preferring to use descriptions such as anarchist communist, social anarchist, libertarian communist, socialist, or even especifist. Most agree that the 1926 platform was sorely lacking in certain areas and point out that it was a draft document, never intended to be adopted in its original form. The Italian Federation of Anarchist Communists FDCA, for example, do not insist on the principle of «tactical unity», which according to them is impossible to achieve over a large area, preferring instead «tactical homogeneity». The platform today Today there are organizations inspired by the platform in many countries, including the Workers' Solidarity Movement in Ireland Black Rose Anarchist Federation – Federación Anarquista Rosa Negra in the United States Common Cause in Ontario, Canada The Federación Comunista Libertaria and Organización Comunista Libertaria in Chile The Federación Anarco-Comunista de Argentina and Línea Anarco-Comunista in Argentina the Federazione dei Comunisti Anarchici (FDCA) in Italy. The Coordenação Anarquista Brasileira (CAB) in Brazil. Union Socialista Libertaria in Peru. The Organisation Communiste Libertaire and Alternative Libertaire in France. The Alianza de los Comunistas Libertarios (ACL) in Mexico. The Melbourne Anarchist Communist Group (MACG) and Sydney Anarchist Communist Trajectory (SACT) in Australia. Motmacht in Norway. Libertaire Socialister in Denmark. The Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Front (ZACF) in South Africa. The Revolutionary Confederation of Anarcho-Syndicalists by the name of N.I. Macno RKAS, which is an international anarcho-syndicalist, platformist confederation with sections and individual members in Ukraine, Russia, Georgia, Germany, Latvia, Bulgaria and Israel organizations inspired by the platform were also among the founders of the now-defunct International Libertarian Solidarity Network and its successor, the Anarchismo Network, which is run collaboratively by roughly 30 platformist and espacifista organizations around the world. 
Topic: Criticisms. The platform attracted strong criticism from some sectors on the anarchist movement of the time, including some of the most influential anarchists such as Volin, Errico Malatesta, Luigi Fabri, Camillo Berneri, Max Netlau, and Alexander Berkman, Emma Goldman and Grigory Maximoff. The «synthesist» alternative As an alternative to platformism Volin and Sebastian Faure proposed synthesist anarchist federations, which they envisioned to form under the principles of anarchism without adjectives, in place of the platform's stress on tight political and organizational unity, the «synthesist» approach argued for a far looser organization that would maximize numbers i.e. a big tent approach. Platformists view such organizations as weak despite their numbers as the lack of common views means an inability to undertake common actions defeating the purpose of a common organization. <laughs> Malatesta's shift to «agreement» with collective responsibility While such criticisms indicated a direct rejection of the platform's proposals, others seem to have arisen from misunderstandings. Notably, Malatesta initially believed that the platform was «typically authoritarian» and far from helping to bring about the victory of anarchist communism, to which they aspire, could only falsify the anarchist spirit and lead to consequences that go against their intentions." However, after further correspondence with McNaught, and after seeing a platformist group in formation, Malatesta concluded that he was actually in agreement with the positions of the platform, but had been confused by the language they had used, but all this is perhaps only a question of words. In my reply to McNo, I already said, it may be that, by the term collective responsibility, you mean the agreement and solidarity that must exist among the members of an association. And if that is so, your expression would, in my opinion, amount to an improper use of language, and therefore, being only a question of words, we would be closer to understanding each other. And now, reading what the comrades of the 18E say, I find myself more or less in agreement with their way of conceiving the anarchist organization being very far from the authoritarian spirit which the «platform» seemed to reveal and I confirm my belief that behind the linguistic differences really lie identical positions. See also Especifismo Synthesis Anarchism, Volin's and Sebastian Faure's response to platformism References External links Organizational Platform of the General Union of Anarchists draft the most accurate translation of the platform in English Anarchism and the Platformist Tradition and Archive of Writings on the Platformist Tradition within Anarchism, including relevant material by Bakunin. Manifesto of the Libertarian Communists written in 1953 by Georges Fontenis for the Fédération Communiste Libertaire of France. It is one of the key texts of this current. A guide to the platform based on the older translation. Towards a Fresh Revolution written by the Friends of Derudi Group following the Spanish Civil War, this text is arguably one of the most important platformist texts ever written. It reaffirms the early calls from the Russian comrades for tactical and theoretical unity, and better organizational practices, and sheds light on the errors in organization during the Spanish Civil War. Anarchismo Net – multilingual anarchist news site run by over 30 platformist and especifist organizations on five continents, about the platform by Errico Malatesta and Nestor McNaught